What's going on guys, it's J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today I'm going to show you guys my King's Fall Challenge Mode Raid Rewards from this past week on all three of my characters. So this week was the first week that challenges were introduced into the King's Fall Raid and this week it started off with the War Priest Challenge. There was a lot of people saying that this challenge was a little too easy. There was a lot of people saying it was just fine, but in the end, the loot was really good. I like that they finally made the loot very rewarding and able to help you progress your characters along by giving you the max light level loot. So that's really good, and everyone can benefit from it. So let's get straight into my rewards from this week. So starting off on my first character on my hunter, we got the Worm God Servant Emblem and the 48th Calcified Fragment. Every character is going to get that and we're going to get the last two emblems and Calcified Fragments in the coming weeks with the last two challenges. From the War Priest himself, I got two Moldering Shards, but for the challenge mode loot, I got a lot of stuff. So you get a guaranteed 320 drop from one of the weapons and a guaranteed 320 artifact if you do it on hard mode you also get the normal mode loot with the 310 the guaranteed 310 and the guaranteed 310 artifact as well so I ended up getting that Gallahorn Fist artifact at 320 with full discipline on it it was really cool looking and I kinda wanted that one because it looks like Gallahorn and everyone loves Gallahorn from year one moving on to my Titan for the War Priest himself the checkpoint I ended up getting two Moldering Shards again, very unlucky for the actual raid drops. But for challenge mode, we ended up getting an exotic as well. So I didn't even know you had a chance for an exotic, but I found out by getting one. I got the no backup plans, 310 of course. I don't think you can get higher than 310. And again, I got the Harold Elliams Frenzy Rocket Launcher. And I got a 320 Suit Pearl Artifact. So that was pretty cool. Intellect and Discipline on it as well. That's really good stats. And we got the emblem, of course, that I put on right after completing this. So pretty good stuff. Even though I got two rocket launchers at 320, I can always utilize it for infusion fuel to level up my other weapons. So that's really good, and it's really rewarding. And then finally, for my last War Priest challenge on my Warlock, from the actual loot, we got stuff this time. We got an Antiquated Rune, Defiance of Yasmin, regular version, and Moldering Shards. From the chest for challenge mode, we ended up getting a 320 Harrow Defiance of Yasmin Sniper Rifle and we also got the Rocket Launcher at 310 and then for my artifacts I ended up getting this Broken Crown Artifact at 320. I got it twice actually and that one had Discipline Strength, not the greatest stats but it's still pretty good stuff. So really good rewards from Challenge Mode. I can't wait for next week's Challenge Mode with Gogoroth and then the following week with Oryx. The trailer for the new upcoming Sparrow Racing event, the Sparrow Racing League, also was shown today at the PlayStation Experience event in San Francisco. So if you guys haven't seen that, I'll leave a link to the actual trailer and the vid doc as well in the description below if you guys want to check it out. If you haven't seen it, a lot of people are talking about it. I'm really excited for it. I'm probably going to play that with my friends and I'll show you guys some gameplay if I get some good stuff from that as well so that's about it for this video thank you guys for watching as always stay tuned for more videos and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace